So we all want to make money, right? Uh, that's why we build our business. And one of the most important things when doing that is to start ranking in Google because that's what will draw like good traffic to your website. In order for Google to understand what type of website you are so that they can index you correctly, you need to start filling your website with content. <clears throat> now, in order to rank later, there are more things to it, like back like links that you get to your website, uh, how you structure the data on your website, a lot of those things. But one of the main pieces are uh, is content. And what we talk about when we talk about Google and content, we talk about keywords. Now, when you're in a, a, a niche, when you're working with the business already, working with keywords is a little bit different from what we're going to be doing today. Then it's much more granular. It's about finding opportunities. It's about, you know, what can we change in order to sort of rank better for the kind of keywords that people are searching for when they are buying. Today we have an empty website and so what we are going to have to do is we're going to have to build it up from zero and sort of make sure that it's indexed by Google in the right place. So how are we going to do that? Well, we got to do two things. First thing is we're going to look at authority and, and topical authority, like how do, can you create that? The second thing that we are going to create is a keyword generator that turns these words into keywords that people search for. Uh, and then we're going to do a prioritization between those. And then I have two templates we're going to use and I'm going to give you access to them that makes this kind of easy. There is one thing within this that is about scraping. So I'm going to give you two tools, one which is free, which requires a little bit more work and one which is, is that you have to pay for, which is very, very neat, especially when we start to aggregate content. So so first question what topic am i in well i am gonna create information products and education products blah 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 so i might you know consider myself being in the in the education industry maybe but more importantly i am in the topic of marketing because <laughs> that's what my education, my courses and things are like that are going to be about. So think about what topic are you going to be? Is, are you going to be about fashion, about a specific sort of fashion, about electronics? Are you going to be about sales? Are you going to be about business? What are you going to be about? What topic are you going to be about? That's very important. So once you've set that out, for me, it's marketing. You got to ask yourself, what words exist within that topic, right? And so how do you find out what words exist in that topic? I mean, you could start writing them, right? But that's not very efficient. So the first question that we're going to try to answer here is what words exist in my topic and how can I collect all of those words? And we're going to use a little tool, uh, which is a scraper. And what a scraper is, is essentially a tool that allows you to automatically uh, crawl through links, meaning automatically click on links, open websites, look through that website and grab content from that website. Or look at one website, uh, one page and grab content from that page. And so it's a, a tool which you can use in order to gather information, analyze that information, and then use the analysis to your advantage. We're going to be a little bit more aggressive uh, using scraping because we're going to collect all of the words that might be related to our topic. And then we're going to put them in a plan that are going to be like, all of these words exist. We need to define them because if we define them, Google knows that we can define them and that makes us relevant within this topic. So what is a good source for finding words? So I've searched for marketing words glossary and I did that before recording the video. <clears throat> what I get is a lot of uh, results here. So get this one and this one and this one and this one and that. What I've done is that I clicked on them to open them up and they all look like this. And you see there is some kind of list here with different types of words. And now I could go about copying and pasting them, uh, but uh, that wouldn't uh, be any fun, right? So what I do instead is that I use this scraper and you can get it from Chrome uh, from you can only use it in Chrome. And so what I do is that I go to each and every one of these websites 
I, I hit the I mark the word like that and then I right click it and then I say scrape similar Let's see if we got it yeah so I took all of the words from the page that's perfect copy the clipboard and then we open up an Excel and we paste it like so cool those were the first set of words now what I do is that I uh, take this thing I uh, scrape similar look here we got all of the definitions copy the clipboard and we go and we go boop. wow so for the first one there we have all of the keywords and all of the definitions it seems like it's not really correct there mm -mm. let's see if we can do this a little bit better like so scrape similar perfect there we go I take this and then I do data and then I do uh, text to columns I think it is ah. so and then comma no tab we do other and we do this thing because as you can see they all have that there we go there we go now the words were separated from the definitions all right so that's what i did takes the columns and then i got got it right good sorted that one out uh, sheet one open a new sheet boom can take away this website now and then uh, i will do repeat this uh, uh, several times <clears throat> All right, so now we have a uh, um, sheet here that has some. The first one we got words and the definition of it. Next one we only got the words. Next one we uh, got some words. Next one we got words. And next one we got words. There will be duplicates in this one, but that's good. Uh, we are going to remove those duplicates in the very final steps. But yeah see now we only taken the words here and so what we could do is we could copy these words and we could uh, go to the, the the keyword generator here and we could just paste them in and then i could go to the next page and i could just you know and it will translate it to swedish from oh i did this wrong So this one auto translates whatever we posted in here. <laughs> 